Hi there, and thank you for joining me for today's video, where I'm going to be taking you through the EPOS Now Loyalty app. Retaining customers is becoming more and more important, as it's five times cheaper than acquiring new customers. Along with this, we also see customers have an up to a 15% increase in your bottom line. With our Loyalty app, we offer many different functions, including loyalty points per spend, loyalty pricing, uh, like supermarkets are offering, VIP discounts, and even gift carding. To download the EPOS Now Loyalty app, simply go under your EPOS Now app store within your back office, and then from there, search EPOS Now Loyalty. Once installed, we'll then go into the Setup tab, select Company Details, and I'll then have this section where I can set my loyalty points. So I'm going to show you how to do the loyalty points today, but as mentioned, there's many different functions here as well. We can set our minimum point spend along with what the points value are, and then also how many points I get per X spend. A good rule of thumb is normally around 10%. So once I've got this set, I can then go into my front hill, and then from here, I can add a customer under my customer tab, add new customer, and fill out all the relevant details for them. For this example, I'm going to use a test account I've already set up. I can also purchase loyalty cards from EPOS now, which can be fully branded and tailored, which drives brand awareness as well. Um, with that, they can then be associated, so it's a simple swipe or I can look up via email address or name. I can select the item I'm purchasing, press pay, and how I'm paying it off. On my receipt, I'll then see how many loyalty points I've earned and what my current value is as well. And then when the customer returns, I can simply either swipe my card or look them up. And then from here, I can then go to redeem my points by pressing the item, pressing pay, and I then have a section here where it will prompt for the loyalty points I have. I can then use that, which will then go against the value. I then have on here, I've got a minimum spend limit of 10 points there as well. So because I've got that set, I can update that, which will then process through the transaction, update my loyalty points. And also if I have email receipts set up, I'll also receive an email receipt, which will also prompt for customer service feedback. So there's many different elements to this, but that's just one way of using it. We also have the ability to use the EPOS Now Promotions option. So because this is all integrated and all embedded into EPOS Now, I can simply go into Manage, go into Products and Promotions, add a new promotion, and then I'll then get extra types here that wasn't there before I had the EPOS Now Loyalty app where I can have extra points spend. What we normally recommend is looking at your time intervals report to understand when your busy and quiet times are to drive increased footfall. As an example, it might be Wednesdays are my quietest days, so I might offer double points on a Wednesday. But it's great because you're not having to give away revenue. Like when they come back, that's when they then receive the discount. So you drive that repeat business off the back of it as well. And you can select which products and, and items it applies to to only uh, allow for items with strong margins off the back of it. In terms of this as well, once the items have gone through and the transactions have go, gone through, you can have a loyalty dashboard set up where we can then see the repeat business off the back of it. We can see any reviews that have gone through, who my returning customers are, everything on the system there is included. If I go into my customer report, I can then also see who my top customers are, what they're spending, who, what the repeat business is like on that side as well. We also have customer signups, so we can see new members on the scheme, along with what points have been sent and what people are spending their points on as well. So it gives us that full insight and intelligence around it. With this as well, we can always export all the customer information, or we also have an integration to MailChimp at an additional cost. This is a great way to drive that repeat business as well by using the information and data that we have. As mentioned, this scheme is linked via loyalty cards or by email address. If you're looking to offer a Apple and Google wallet based rewards, we also have integrations into the likes of LoyalZoo and LoyaltyDog as well. 
Hope this gives you a good overview of what EPOS now can offer in terms of loyalty to your customers and how to get the most out of it. Thank you for your time.